Hello, I'm Camila Gill, and this is part one of my 94 Grecian Rose series. The first word for this series is Grecian, and a video on Facebook is part of the piece. And here's the other part of the piece, my painting, entitled Mushrooms and Grecian Windflowers. And here's the other part of the piece. I will read as carefully as I can this poem, Ode on a Grecian Urn by John Keats, that was written in 1820. Please don't fall asleep. I will try my best not to mispronounce everything, but I have to read it from my netbook here. So, here we go. <clears throat> Ode on a Grecian Urn Thou still unravished bride of quietness, Thou foster child of silence and slow time, Sylvan historian who canst thus express A flowery tale more sweetly than our rhyme. What leaf-fringed legend haunts about thy shape Of deities and mortals, or of both, In Tempe and, oh sorry, <laughs> Or the dales of Arcady, what men or gods are these? What maiden's law? What mad pursuit? What struggle to escape? What pipes and timbrels? What wild ecstasy? Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter, therefore, ye soft pipes play on. Not to the sensual ear, but more endeared. Pipe to the spirit ditties of no tone. Fair youth beneath the trees, thou canst not leave thy song, nor ever can those trees be bare. Bold lover, never, never canst thou kiss, though winning near the goal. Yet do not grieve, she cannot fade, though thou hast not thy bliss. For ever wilt thou love, and she be fair. I'm terrible, I'm sorry. Hang in there. Almost done. Ah, happy, happy boughs that cannot shed your leaves, nor ever be, bid the spring adieu, and happy melodist, unwearied, forever piping songs forever new, more happy love, more happy, happy love, forever warm and still to be enjoyed, forever panting and forever young, all breathing human passion far above, that leaves a heart high sorrowful and cloyed, a burning forehead and a parching tongue. <laughs> Sorry, I had to do that. I'm goofy. Okay. Who are these coming to the sacrifice? To what green altar, O oh, mysterious priest, leadst thou that heifer lowing at the skies, and all her silken flanks with garlands dressed? What little town by river or seashore, or mountain built with peaceful citadel, is open? Imp uh, sorry, emptied of this folk, this pious morn, and little town, thy streets forevermore, will silent be, and not a soul to tell, why thou art de desolate, can e'er return. Sorry. Okay. Last part. O Attic shape, fair attitude with breed of marble men and maidens overwrought with forest branches and the trodden weed. Thou silent form, dost tease us out of thought, as doth eternity, cold pastoral. When old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain in midst of other woe than ours, a friend to man, to whom thou sayst, beauty is truth, Truth, beauty, that is all ye know on earth and all ye need to know. And I know many of you only knew that last part. <laughs> so, sorry to bore everybody. Thank you if you made it this far. And uh, I hope my future videos will be better than this. This was my first one. Thank you. All right. Talk to you all later. Bye.